Good morning, it is Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to capture some of my trades as they unfold live. Market opens up in about 13 minutes. Uh, watching Tesla here, big gap down. Maybe some pre-market trading on it. Uh, I don't know, I have an order at uh, 305, which you can see right here. So if it looks like uh, it, it, it is gonna work its way down to the $300 mark, I'll get the video rolling. If not, I'll see you back at the market open. Looking to pick up some shares here on CCCL at two dollars on the pullback here have a order out on twlo also and uh, scanning for some other setups i will keep you updated all right i got filled and i just noticed right away that i totally screwed it up from a position size perspective i wanted 500 shares but um i was doing tesla and tesla only wanted to, you know, 100 shares with that one, but I forgot to change my order back. Uh, so got out there for $10, but let's try this again. 15, 15, next order, and there we go. Now 500 shares, so an operator error on my uh, point of view again, because I only wanna use 100 shares with Tesla, I forgot uh, for down here to change uh, the uh, the shares back to to 500 like that one, so. Bummer, but it is what it is. Let's just move on. ENTG, very, very jumpy. So um, I want to at least get it documented, have an order at 30.15 for my first order. But I could see this all of a sudden just shooting up there and me missing the entry point. Uh, so at least want to get it put out there. 30.15, it, and then we'll watch, see if we can get a break at 30. There's the break. Let's see if we can get it up to 15 or not. All right, and back to 3002. I'll keep a close eye on it. All right, gonna look for some shares here at 29.61. Bit of a deeper pullback here. We'll see if it can uh, pull back a tad bit more. That tread line that I threw in there just as kind of a, a gauge for myself. Very, very stubborn. The price got above it a little bit, but as you see, never could quite clear above it. So we'll see if it can move down to 29.61. Not gonna lie, we are almost an hour and a half in and today has been a struggle. Um, I put orders out there, haven't gotten them filled. Um, I'm not gonna give up yet, I'm gonna keep searching. But uh, yeah, it's it's been a struggle and I don't say that to try to garner pity, just saying that hey, if you ever feel like you're having a day as a trader where it's just, you can't really explain other than, it's just a struggle. If you ever had those types of days, you're not alone, it happens to everybody. Um, now, whether or not other people are going to admit that it happens or portray it, I don't know, but it does happen. Uh, but I want to at least get it documented from a video sake, because who knows, maybe there's a trade that'll be right around the corner here that totally changes everything. But yeah, right now, an hour and a half in, um, struggling. All right, I missed the entry point there. At 135.25 here on Facebook for my opening up. Uh, portion of shares. We'll look to pick up some more if possible. All right, I will pause it for now. And if it looks like I'm gonna either get out for profit or add some more, I'll get the video going again. Okay, it's pulling back here somewhat. All right, I will pause. Okay, I have another order up here at 135.55. Okay, I got filled there. Would, look, would like to look to still add potentially some more or if it wants to pull back. Let me get this. If it hits that green line there, then I am making money on the trade. So that's kind of the 
the line to keep an eye out for, so we'll see if it can get down there or not. I will go ahead and pause for the time being. Down. Okay, it's pulling back some here. Again, if the price can hit that green line there, that is putting me into the green. So it's trying to pull back. We'll see if it can get down there or not. Well, it's making a move. And I am out. So $60 there would have liked to have gotten more shares, but uh, just didn't move up enough. So there we go. I, I, I guess uh, still a struggle, not the cleanest of trades, but hey, we're, we're, we're uptrending. And that's, what, that, that's the name of the game, right? Uptrending. So let's see what else I can find. All right, I totally, totally turned my back away for, I don't know, two seconds. And the price just shot straight up there. So out of there for another 45, but uh, let's double check. Let me look at 136.45. Uh, so I'm not doing very well. In fact, that's the Roku chart right there. Uh, but yeah, that move there started. That's how fast it caught me off guard. I was looking over doing a customer service thing and all of a sudden I was in, um, which makes sense with that candle right there, shot straight up there. Uh, but again, a quick uh, $45 on that one. I meant to put that at 89 for the $50, but uh, whatever, it is what it is. So up to 115 now, um, almost two hours into the day, and maybe some more potential here if it can get up to 136.45. I'll do my best, but there's uh, still working with the customer right now, um, so I may miss the entry point, but that is where the current order is. All right, looking for an entry here at 135.37 on this pullback. Trying to make its way down there. Actually, what I want to do here is go to 135.30. Let's get this updated there. Okay, I'm in. We'll see if I can get the $50 bill or not. So there it was for 50 bucks. If it wants to pull back some more. 134.85. I want to be done right now because it's literally right at noon and I have other stuff to do. But if this move wants to continue, I'm going to sacrifice a little bit of time to give it a try. So let's see, just double checking 134.85. So there we go. I'll get the video rolling again if it looks like it's going to pull back. All right, there's the break of 135. I have moved my order down to 134.75. I will pause for the time being. All right, well, it never quite got down to where I wanted it to, uh, so I'm gonna wrap this up. Like I said, it's now 12.09 and I have other stuff I need to, to work on. So um, yeah, I don't really wanna post this video, but I will. I hit the record button, therefore I'm posting it. Uh, if anything, it just kinda goes to show, and I don't wanna come across as ungrateful, you know, 165 in uh, two and a half hours. You know, you know, like I said, working from home, I don't wanna come across as ungrateful, however, yeah, it's it's I'm, it kind of is just a not not the best day and but I do want to put this because um, you know just thinking off the top of my head I think last week's video was like $150 per hour and then the previous week was like $500 or something and I don't know I so I I do post lots of live trades where there's bigger amounts however sometimes mornings like this happen and while you know it would be great to only post big days and days where there's a bunch of money. Yeah, that's just not the reality of the situation. And sometimes um, you struggle. Sometimes it's kind of, you just got to claw and nickel and dime the market to put to put together gains. And that's just what happened here. So um, if you're looking for more of an entertaining video with you know higher dollar values, then there's a whole playlist of these live trades and you can go watch a bigger gain to your heart's content. But uh, hopefully uh, you're looking at it more from the, the perspective of, hey, this is reality. This is how trading can go. It doesn't go like this all the time. But yeah, I mean, it can go like this. And from a marketing perspective, sure, this video is not going to be very exciting, but it is what it is. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to hit that like button and let me know that you enjoy these. Subscribe to the channel. Um, and that's really the, the, the best way to communicate to me that, hey, Clay, keep spending your time doing these because I do enjoy them and uh, I will keep watching them because, you know, yeah, I, I, I enjoy it. So hit that like button, like I said, 
Um, and even if you never spend a dime at claytrader.com, that's, that, that's fine, but just communicate to me uh, through uh, that like button and through subscribing to the channel, and that's a, a great way to let me know to keep doing these videos. So thanks, and I'll see you back next week. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.